Bottle one is for chest tube fluid control. Bottle two is for chest tube air control. So when there is no suction applied to the system, system is set to water seal, a two bottle system. Let's talk about the suction control. Bottle three is the suction control, otherwise known as the vacuum control. The suction control chamber allows for precise control of the suction or vacuum placed on any system. The import is connected to the water seal of the system, of the chest tube system. The output is connected to the suction device. The vent is the atmospheric vent. The atmospheric vent is the safety valve of the suction system. The atmospheric vent of the suction system is usually submerged in 20 centimeters of water. By submerging the atmospheric vent into 20 centimeters of water and applying suction until the vent bubbles, then we're assured a constant suction of exactly 20 centimeters of water is applied to the chest tube collection system. So if we turn the suction device up more, the vent will only bubble, but the suction on the chest tube will remain constant at 20 centimeters of water. So once that suction control vent bubbles, no more suction is necessary. If the suction is less than 20 centimeters of water, or the suction is turned off, the suction control will not bubble. Well, if the suction control does not bubble, the suction control bottle has no purpose. And if we're not applying suction to the system when there is no suction, then the system is automatically set to water seal the two bottle system. So here is the vacuum or suction control of this system. The atmospheric vent of this suction system is usually submerged in 20 centimeters of water. The suction control chamber should bubble when the proper the suction control chamber should bubble when the proper amount of suction is applied to the system. The suction control chamber the suction control chamber should not bubble when suction is discontinued. And again, when there's no suction applied to the system, then it's automatically set to water seal, a two bottle system. So should the suction control bubble? When suction is ordered, the wall suction should be attached to the system and increased until the suction control chamber begins to bubble and bubble continuously. When the proper amount of wall suction is applied, the suction control chamber should bubble. When suction is stopped, the suction control chamber should not bubble. When suction is stopped, the system is set to water seal.